Should you make your books returnable when you're listing them with Ingram Spark and the other book printers? This is going to be a personal preference for you, but let me break down what it looks like to make them returnable and to make them non-returnable so you can make that decision. Now, if you are uploading your books to one of the platforms like Ingram Spark, you have the opportunity to be out in bookstores or libraries or schools. And all of those places require certain things in order to want to take on a book. They will say absolutely not to books that don't meet certain qualifications. And that is the way that you are listing these books on these sites. So if you want to be in bookstores, you are required to make it returnable. If you choose not to make your book returnable, you will not be eligible to be in those bookstores. They have to be able to return any stock that they don't sell. They're not going to take something on with the potential of not making those sales. So let's say you market returnable. What then happens? If bookstores are going to be buying your books, typically they're going to buy a couple of copies. They're going to keep them on their shelves. And then if they sell them, great. You profit, they profit, everything's wonderful. You've already said that you've given them a discount because we're required to do that. And then you are good to go. If, however, they have multiple copies and they can only sell a couple, or maybe they don't sell any of them, and they have those on their shelves, they're not going to want that taking up valuable real estate on their bookshelves. So now they're going to send them back to the printer because they were returnable. Remember, you had to make them returnable in order for them to be willing to take that on. So once you have that returned to the printer, there are then two options. It can either be destroyed by the printer, so they just wreck the book, they burn it, they rip it up, they do whatever, I don't know, or they can ship it to you. Either way, it's coming out of your pocket because they've already produced the product. They've already produced that product. And so they are not losing their income on this. The printer will not do that. The book uh, seller, the bookstore, will get their money back for it. And that is what you would have made in profit. So at that point, you as the author can decide, well, I, I'm okay with them destroying it. I don't want those copies. Or you can have it shipped to you. You're going to pay for shipping, but now you've got a book to use at a book signing or to do a giveaway with or something like that. So for me, the best choice is to market as returnable so the bookstores will stock it. And my books are literally in bookstores across the world. I have people on the other side of the world telling me they've seen my books in their stores frequently. If they do not make those sales, they can then return those to the printer. Anything that's going to be inside of the U.S. will get shipped back to me. Anything that's outside of the U.S. will probably be destroyed. And then I will have a copy to take with me to a book signing, to do a giveaway, to do whatever with. Sometimes I'll take my extra copies. I don't get very many returned, but on the rare occasion that I do, I'll usually use them for a book signing or a giveaway, but I have potentially been known to use them um, for dropping them in pools and things like that for content. And that's just what I do with my life. I've got a lot of copies of my books. But this will then come out of my pocket. So I just had somebody return this book. This was a bookstore, I would assume, that had purchased a bunch of copies. They couldn't sell this particular one, so they shipped it right back to me. I was then able to get this copy. It could have been destroyed at the printer, but then who would have benefited from that? If I'm going to be already be paying for this out of pocket, I would at least want the copy so that I can do something with it. And that's what most people are going to do. Now, if you live outside of the states or wherever your book is being sold, you will probably not be able to get those copies. So you can either work it out with one of your friends who can then hang on to your books for when you're doing things in that country or ship it to you or whatever it happens to be, hold on to it for when you're doing a giveaway in that country, you know the drill, or you can just have them destroy it. So you have to get kind of creative if you're not around in a local capacity to then get those books, but there's options. There are things that you can be doing with this. So you need to make the decision for you. If you do not want these to be returnable, bookstores will not buy them. Therefore, they will only print copies of people who order these books that are not able to return them. And that's it. You made your sale and that's the end of it. If somebody's not happy, that's what it is. But because they're not returnable, most people will not take on that copy of the book. Bookstores will only take it on if it is returnable. And then it comes out of your pocket if they are going to return it. And you can choose to have it destroyed or you can choose to have it sent to you so that you have that extra copy because it's already coming out of your pocket. Questions on publishing your books, writing your books, all of those things. I'm a multi-time bestselling author. I've been in this industry for six years now. And I've been working with the industry for many years before that. And I teach people how to professionally make more money inside of this industry. I've been doing it for a really long time. So drop your questions down below. Let me help you to be more profitable this year inside of your author life, your publishing journey. We want to make sure we're taking care of you. And we drop daily videos to help you level up and be more profitable as you navigate the book world right now, whether you are a reader, a writer, or in the publishing game. We'll see you in the next episode.